Yes, you heard it loud and clear. This is very unusual of me to say this. I have been a Star Wars fan since I was three and a half with a wonderful video, video home cassette to see episode four A New Hope with my mother. Then seeing The Phantom Menace was not everyone's cup of tea. To me, it was okay. But Jada aka are my best made it awful and Jake Lloyd corrupted himself leaving his acting career after his film appearance on school bullying and it's unknown for the mother or the father to blame. Attack of the Clones was improved well to me and it's the public consensus least favourite of the nine episodes in the Skywalker saga and I strongly disagree. By the teenager times of myself, Revenge of the Sith was the best prequel films, but not the best of The New Hope or Empire Strikes Back, but it kicked a notch and made it well near flawless. Even with many video game adaptations on, on the six episodes, some were bad and some were brilliant. Now in the middle of the 2010 decade, Force Awakens is strongly, in my opinion, the best sequel trilogy film i ever seen in my life. Anything that will be distinctive, seeing returning characters like Chewbacca, Luke, Han, Leia and the two droids R2 and 3PO is such a memory, including sour times. A red knight Ben Solo killed his dad, enraging Chewbacca to detonate the Star Killer. With new fresh faces, Rey, Phasma, Finn, Poe, and of course Palpatine's creation, Snoke. The Last Jedi was probably the longest film in the Skywalker saga. There is no question how many deaths and humor in this film bought. I think. I had little less thoughts about this film as it targets resistance being out of the situation in the first order one crate which is a planet as they were fully prepared but the resistance were nowhere near prepared which is my opinion until Ben destroyed a decoy of Luke which actually was his uncle to vent to vent the frustrations as actually Luke held the resistance to escape. Palpatine was the sole responsible for creating Snoke. Still a good film, but its stature of Revenge of the Sith. Now the conclusion. There is no spoiler. Do not attempt to go away from the video. I am not reviewing it or making a consensus of opinion about Rise of Skywalker and here is why. When I saw the teaser trailer the last part I heard was Palpatine's laughter and something tells me that trailer was mixed. I thought it was good until the last part was his laughter and here is why. The five days close to Christmas when the film was out, its most controversial Skywalker films ever. Unlike Phantom Menace and Revenge of the Sith, audience which is all people like us, but I'm not going to be included as I refuse to make my own thoughts. Audience seemed to like it, unlike top critics making it the worst Skywalker series film in history of 42 years of filming on Star Wars history. Actress Daisy Ridley became heavily defensive on the film project, like excuse me bitch, everyone won't agree with what your opinion, you might put it in your justification. Every person has the right to have an opinion, either put up or shut up. She at least admitted not everyone is going to like it, and the director was off the script on the film. Boyger has his own consensus as he doesn't mind criticism by sending memes, unlike Daisy. Criticism is healthy and sometimes 
If you don't agree with criticism or can't take it, something's wrong with you. If you can't take it for granted. But for me, I refuse to review the film or give any thought about it in any which way as audience via social media and outside social media loved it but top critics hate it but for me I don't plan or either make a review to think it's bad or good it's a refusal thought of my own general consensus there is no review I refuse to give a verdict a similar how people are not in consensus or never seen any good films like Demolition Man for example. Out of the 9 episodes, this final installment is the only Star Wars film I refuse to make any verdict or thought about it, nor do I care. Let's put this aside and may the force be with us all.